I, I'm really excited to try Bishop. As I was saying, ever since we saw Bishop kind of announced that Bishop is one of those characters that I was excited to get to the table because I just don't have a conceptual idea of how he is going to play. Like, I, I understand the mechanics, but from a, is he going to be good? Is he going to be fun, interesting? I, I It was really hard to gauge because he seems like he's playing differently than most characters out there because he's dealing with how many resource cards you have in your hand. All right, so that being said, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running a kind of a modified pre-con. He came with a leadership pre-con. We're going to cut out a couple of the excess cards that we don't need, and we're going to be seeing what we can what we can mess with in the pre-con. So he comes with X-23 and Cable, which I, I absolutely love these types of characters and these designs. I'm really excited to see more of them. Got Marrow, Legion. And then the big one here is Psychic. So the entire archetype built, or this deck is kind of built around, is the Psychic archetype, where you attach to your identity-specific ally. We have Randall and Malcolm here. And they get a bunch of cool stuff, pretty much. It is <laughs> is, is the uh, basically what happens. Hey, Lucas, how's it going? How you doing? Um, we got the advanced suits, team training. I cut out the other team training. Actually, I have all the cards that I cut out right here. Um, oh, it looks like it was just team training from this pre-con. Add more more resource cards. All of the resource cards. Alrighty. Good morning, Ryan. How's it going? Hey, Wasteland. More resource cards. We got a lead from the front. This actually may be where I cut. This may be where I cut. We got suit up. I'm going to play suit up, mainly because that's kind of what the deck is built around. We got side by side, which we're going to keep. Power of leadership, strength, energy, genius. So those are the the cards that we're going to go. I don't. I'm not a huge lead from the front fan. So if we take out the lead from the fronts, let's see how many cards that has, and see if we need to add more resource cards. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So we have five cards. We have five cards to add. And so what are the resource cards that you like? We got like band together. We got innovation. Are we talking about those types of resource cards? Or are you thinking more like digging deep? I do want to play a digging deep build with Lucas. I feel like that'd be fun. We also have like the X jet, that kind of stuff. Digging deep. Alrighty. We got a lot of digging deeps. And then like a, oh, be oh shoot. Yeah. Because we're discarding cards from energy absorption. Heck yeah. Well, okay. Sick. All righty. Let's go. Let's go. So digging deep is a card that states when you discard this card from the top of your deck, you add it to your hand. So with Bishop's energy absorption, being able to discard a ton of cards from the top of his deck. After he takes any damage, you get digging deep. Alrighty, there we go. There's digging deep. Mansion to heal his. Oh, X Mansion. Yeah. Okay, so. So we got X Mansion to heal the psychic. The psychics can heal by themselves when they ready the side by side. Is that what it's called? Doesn't he already keep resource cards he discards? He does. Um, and so I think White Fox is something fun. And then I'm thinking like Weapon X. Band Together does not have any printed resources. And so Band Together could work. Band Together could work. Do we go like Call for Backup? Or Beast? I feel like Beast would be pretty good. Oh, effective leadership. So, okay. So if we take out Digging Deep, because he's already keeping... I feel like there is a build there. I feel like there is a build with Digging Deep, Gold Balls, um, Weapon X, that kind of stuff. Oh, Call for Backup? Yeah, Call for Backup. We have... Band together, power of leadership, which we already have power of leadership in there. Effective leadership and innovation. 
Another way to find his ally. Yeah, that's a good call. Um, I think I like Beast, just from the fact that he's going to grab you a resource card. And we were talking about X Mansion, which can heal our ally. If we have three health, team training bumps it up to four. Reinforced suit gets it to six. I don't know how much we're going to need to heal that ally. I'm not 100% sure how frequently we're going to need to do that. Because also when we make a basic recovery, we can heal the ally. Maybe, maybe we do. Maybe we do. I'm just wondering if we already have a lot of health and healing in the deck. And we want to kind of skew a little bit more towards the resources, which are effective leadership. Do we have more than two copies of effective re leadership? I don't remember. But yeah, so this morning I was doing my, you know, morning coffee and doom scrolling. And pretty much all of TikTok is just like, you're going to die tonight from like the tornadoes and stuff, which have a, I do have more than one effective, or more than. So, so that's going to be fun. I, I grew up terrified of tornadoes. And so <laughs> we'll see, uh, we'll see how tonight goes. Um, alrighty. So we got beast effective leadership call for backup. We have innovation, which is some healing. I feel like that could work. And since we're going to be able to grab that innovation fairly frequently with the energy absorption, I'm wondering if, if the one max one per deck is not going to be as bad there i do also like white fox i really do like white fox i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab innovation and i think we're also gonna grab a white fox because we're discarding cards from the top of the deck we can that eye is in the wrong spot i actually got an e hey 17 sickles i actually got an email for severe weather back in richmond from the next door app oh really yeah. Yeah, they, <laughs> they were just like, you're, <laughs> you're good luck living through the night is basically what my, my app told me. Um, <laughs> good morning. How's the new expansion? Uh, seven cent pretzel. It is so good. It's, it's so, so cool so far. Now that being said, I've only unboxed and played like one, uh, one of the scenarios and only magic. So we're playing Bishop for the first time. And I, I'm really excited to, to sink my teeth into Bishop. I think he's going to be a lot of fun going forward. We did say White Fox. So let's hop back over here for White Fox. I feel... Ooh, I'm so pumped for a... Maybe that's what we do with Magic. I think with... No, because Colossus is a character that wants to enter and leave play. So it's not really sidekickable. Um, I do like that adjective, though. Sidekickable. But I feel like I want to try a training danger or like a danger room training to Voltron to game time like craziness with uh, with sidekick. I feel like that's going to be a lot of fun Looking for white fox I'm playing dwarves now. Anything else? Anything else that we're kind of looking for or interested in? We have... I, I'm kind of interested to see how... How, how many... Um, how many, like... Like, if, if Mutant Education and that kind of stuff works, where we're shuffling back in the resource cards... Um, if, if we need that, like a mutant education type build, Utopia is always fairly good. Let's just run it. Like, I feel like if we add too, too much more, we're going to get a little bit too far away from the precon. And I, this is, uh, this is going to give us a fairly decent idea of what that precon is. We're going to be playing Unis again with standard three expert one, which is what we played white or not white Fox is what we played magic yesterday. And so just to kind of get a normalized look at the two of them, I feel like this is going to be pretty fun. Also, I really, I, I enjoyed Unis. I think Unis is going to be um, not, not the best hero in the, or best villain in the game, the most fun villain in the game, but I feel like he's a fairly decent tester, right? So that's kind of what I'm looking for out of the first scenario in a lot of these boxes is like, 
how how is uh how is this gonna hold up against kind of running a deck against and seeing how it performs without messing with the scenario too much to the to like the level that we need to start building our deck to combat the scenario and not highlight the hero and so i feel like unis is going to be one of those that's going to be pretty good at that okay so we are looking for a um a signature ally call for backup or something like that do you do you all have a favorite signature ally with Lucas, Randall, or Malcolm that you like to sidekick? My guess would be the the one I think it's Randall who is the higher thwart. I feel like that's gonna be probably better, at least in a solo, and then Bishop can use his his weapon and just damage comes more naturally than threat removal, I think. Unis does have toughness. He starts with 15 health. We start with 12. One, two. Gene pool is a permanent setup. After an ally is defeated by anything other than consequential damage, place three threat here. And then hunting gene traders after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one threat on gene pool. Mulligan hard for his uniform. All righty. Will do. So we got six cards. Mulligan super hard for uniform. We got energy conversion. When an enemy attacks, shuffle each resource card in your discard pile into your deck. You cannot take more than three damage. You got energy. You got command authority. If you pay for this within a resource card, draw a card. We got X23. We got stored energy and innovation. We're going to toss innovation. That's going to heal an ally. We don't really need that. Um, I guess we could with like X23, but I'm going to take Command Authority off the table. We're going to take Energy Conversion out of the game. Or not out of the game, out of the opening hand. I do like having the Stored Energy and Energy. I finally got a live show. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome. I'm, ha I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're here. And so if we are going to mulligan hard for the suit, do we toss one of these doubles? Is That that just seems so blasphemous, like mulliganing a, a, a double in Marvel Champions. It just it just seems like not not the move. <laughs> but there is a lot of resource cards in this deck, and so maybe, maybe we do. Or do we just toss X-23? Let's toss X-23 and mulligan into... Hey, Randall. There we go. There's Cable, too. Two, four. Bishop's uniform. Let's go. And a genius. Yo, this this is this is pretty awesome, actually. Alrighty. So Lucas has a response. After you change to this form, add a temporal card in your discard pile to your hand. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna flip up to hero form. After a bishop takes any amount of damage from an attack, discard an equal number of cards from the top of your deck. Add each resource card discarded this way to your hand. I also really want to do a toe-to-toe -to -toe build. Cause you can Ooh, actually. That may be what we build. Depending on depending on timing. That may be what we build. It's like a toe-to-toe -to -toe build, force a ton of attacks. And then energy absorption. Just go crazy. That seems kind of fun. Alrighty, let's use a stored energy to play a bishop's uniform. So after you resolve bishop's energy absorption, exhaust bishop's uniform, heal one damage from bishop for each resource card in your hand. We're going to uh, we'll use Genius and Cable to play Randall. We're going to hang on to Energy because that's going to uh, heal with Bishop's Uniform. Randall will go ahead and thwart two here. He does have an action. After discard a resource card from your hand, Ready, Randall. That card has a printed lightning icon. Heal one damage and um, heal one damage from him. Toe-to-toe -to -toe with counterattack. Yeah. 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 100%. Bishop is going to go ahead and then knock the tough off here. Because now he doesn't have the retaliate. This is what I was doing. Okay. So let's stand up. We have five hand size. Got advanced suit. 
After an attached ally defeats a minion or a side scheme, discard one card from your hand. Heal one damage from the attached icon. Supercharged. Nice. Marrow. And power of leadership. Sweet. We're going to add a threat here and then a threat to Gene Pool. We're going to take an attack from Unis. He's going to attack us for two plus a boost card. Let's just take it right to the face. Plus two. That's going to be four. One, two, three, four. After Bishop takes any amount of damage, discard an equal number of cards from the top of your deck. Add each resource discarded this way to your hand. One, two, three, four. And then we Bishop's Uniform to heal one, two, three, four. Okay, that's uh that's pretty sick, actually. That's that's pretty cool. And now we have a lot of resources, <laughs> which we have a sink. That's the other thing that I think he will enjoy our sinks, similar to like Machine Man or something. That's why you want his uniform ASAP. <laughs> it's probably worth running like a uh, superpower training or something to, to grab it. Alrighty. Our encounter card is War Weary. You are stunned. If you are already stunned, take two damage instead. It's already working great. It's all coming together. Sick. Okay. It's now our turn. We're going to play Supercharged. We can, as an action, discard a resource card from your hand, place a charge counter here for each resource icon on that card. And then when you make a basic attack, we can discard Supercharged and we get plus two for the attack for each damage counter here, maximum plus eight. Now I just have to find the rifle, right? Yeah, because the rifle would be doing one, two, three, four damage now, which is crazy. Yeah, the rifle is very, very solid. I guess we will we'll toss a advanced suit on Randall. Let's use a energy to play Marrow. After Marrow enters play, deal two damage to an enemy. It's gonna be Unis, one, two. Bishop's just going to go ahead and basic attack to remove the stun. And it's kind of interesting. I, I think there's more of a decision here of, do I want to sink these resources? Or are they better in my hand? I think at this point, they're better sunk because I'm still looking for a sidekick. But like if we had our board state built out, we can just toss all of these into supercharge and we have a fully powered supercharge ready to go. I'm going to actually use strength instead of energy to pay for that. Randall will go ahead and thwart two here. Oh, actually, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, instead of using strength to play for Marrow, I'm going to use power leadership and effective leadership. So Marrow has plus one, plus one. Marrow is then going to attack Unis for three. One, two, three. And then we're going to... I think we're just going to fully charge up supercharged. Okay, stand up. We have five cards. Concussive Blast. Stored Energy. It's there, Psychic. Nice. Malcolm. And suit up. Bishop has choices to make. Yeah. I was thinking that it was just going to be... I'm going to sit here and hold on to all the resource cards. And then just heal forever. And deal a significant amount of damage. Okay, let's add one and one. Unis is going to attack. The decision here is, do we let the attack go through? If we let the attack go through, we're going to take damage. We're probably going to heal a good bit of that damage, but we're going to be discarding cards. Are there any cards that I need? I don't really think there is. Team training would be nice to have, but since we have Psychic, I'm not 100% sure there's anything that we absolutely need. I mean, that's not a bad plan. <laughs> um, let's, let's toss Marrow in front of this. We got two. After this activation resolves, place one pursuit counter on pursued by the past. 
And then if we have four counters over here, our nemesis comes out. Encounter card is the Infinite Soldier Guard. The amount of threat on Gene Pool is at least 369. Then bad things happen. I'm just mad that it has Guard. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to use a Suit Up to play Sidekick on Randall. So that's going to give plus two hit points, and now he's considered our Sidekick. After you make a basic recovery, heal two damage from, from Randall. I think we're going to attack the infinite soldier for two. Randall is going to take him out. Which gets rid of the guard, which is the main thing there. And then we're going to use a Stored Energy and Malcolm to play Concussive Blast. To deal 6 damage to Unis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And since we paid for this event with a resource card, we get to Ready Bishop. Isn't guard always fun? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and now that Bishop's ready, we have a Supercharge. We can attack for 10, but Villain only has 4 left. And so I think... Instead, oh, and Gene Pool actually has three more on it. Gene Pool has three more on it because we chump blocked. I wish Supercharged had Overkill. Yeah. Yeah. Same. So in that case, we're just going to thwart two here. And we should have taken a Retaliate because he does have Retaliate. I need to remember that Gene Pool dissuades chump blocking. Like, I don't think there should be a time where we chump block. I think we should just always take that that hit. Concussive Blast. Advanced Suit. Oh, Randall, actually. Oh, we could have discarded a card from our hand to heal because he took out the soldier. <laughs> uh, side by side. Ooh, there's the side by side. Advanced Suit. And Bishop's Rifle. There it is. Let's go. All right. Got one here. One here. Unis is going to attack. We're going to take it right to the face. It's going to be four damage total. One, two, three, four. Hey, Deranged GJ. I'm doing good. How are you? Maybe you need to look at a hand cannon build. Ooh. Or uh, uh, marked. Where you can attach a minion and give overkill attacks to that. Busy, busy. Nice. Good busy or bad busy? I'm going to discard four cards because we took four damage. One, two, three, four. We take stored energy. And then we heal one. Encounter card is War Weary. I am stunned. Alrighty. It's happening again. Let's use Advanced Suit, Advanced Suit to play Bishop's Rifle. We will exhaust Bishop's Rifle to remove the stun. Did you ever send out the giveaway? I don't believe I got it in the mail yet. No. Okay, so I, I owe a couple of people emails. I There's a lot of stuff that happened, and unfor the giveaway is just... I have them right here. I but I need to. I'll send. I'll send you an email. I'll send you an email after this. I yeah. Yeah. I'll send. I'll, I'll send you an email because I want to talk to you about it. Um. So bishop's rifle remove the stun. Bishop will go ahead and. No, Randall will go ahead and thwart two here. We're going to use a Sword of Energy to play side by side. Oh, wait, actually, first, Bishop is going to punch Unis for two. One, two. We're going to use Sword of Energy to play side by side. Ready your sidekick. 
and our hero and choose to either heal one damage from both characters or both characters get plus one plus one until the end of the phase we're going to heal one from each we have concussive blast in our hand The new expansion is really cool. I'm, I'm actually enjoying Bishop a lot more than I thought I would. I feel like there's a lot of... There's a lot more decision space here than I was expecting. Um, oh, you know what? Actually... Oh, he's going to have toughness. Just kidding. I was going to say, like, we could push him and then have Bishop attack with a supercharge. But yeah, no. I, I'm really enjoying the new expansion. Got to play Magic yesterday. Bishop today. So uh, it's it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. I, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Bishop's gonna go ahead and just push Unis. He's gonna come in with toughness and 18 hit points. It looks pretty great. Are you planning on grabbing it? Are you planning on grabbing one? We'll go ahead and thwart two off of Gene Pool with Randall. We got a concussive blast. We're gonna hang on to the concussive blast. Let's stand up. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm very much enjoying it. We got a call for backup. Don't need that. Power leadership. Side by side. And a suit up. Add one here and one to Gene Pool. Unis is going to attack us for three plus a boost card. We're going to take it, attach this card to an infinite minion. There is not any infinite minion, so we take three damage. One, two, three, and we're going to discard three cards. We got effective leadership, we got white fox, which goes into play, and we got supercharge, which gets discarded. We then will exhaust the uniform and look at one, two, and heal two. One, two. That's so much fun. That's so cool. Not for a little while. I don't have too much time to play. And my duo who I usually play with is busy for the next month. Once our life show slows down, we plan on grabbing and grinding out. Nice. Good. Nice. Alrighty. That was fun. Yeah, I think White Fox works really, really, really well in Bishop. Uh, we got Drawing Near. After your turn begins, discard the top card of your deck. Place one Pursuit counter on Pursuit by the Best for each printed resource icon on that card. Ah, it's an alter ego action. We can discard an identity specific card from our hand to discard this card. I had a 44 card protection deck. I ran 14 resource cards in. Healing and rifle damage was insane. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Um, interesting. 14 resource cards. That's a lot of resource cards. <laughs> I got to go shower and get fitted for a tux. Oh, that sounds exciting. Best of luck in your stream. I'll keep up. Oh, cool. Awesome. See you around. Okay, so here we are. We are, I think, here to make a push. So let's go. White Fox can take off the tough. Okay. Bishop is going to basic attack with a supercharged for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Down to 8. We got the rifle for two, one, two. Th this is wild, actually. <laughs> uh, we'll go suit up and call for back. Our Randall. Randall's about to die. Randall has one health left. Um, so I guess we'll we'll suit up, call for backup. It may, uh, whatever power leadership effective leadership and side by side plays concussive blast which is lethal i'm loving bishop he's super fun holy resources bet <laughs> i want to see how many resources with too much still testing but so far the sweet spot seems to be around 10 to 12 resource cards it feels really cool it feels really cool I'm actually <laughs>